Hey guys, this is an update on the Primal Regular I've been working on. Um, uh, let's start with the Magneto here. If I can get it better here. Uh, I uh, got a regular E4A standard impulse. Not the automatic that I used to have on there in the last video. Um, next is the shutter system for the regular we made out of a piece of canvas and a conduit soldered on with some nails on each side worked out really well I can unroll it and go from hole to hole as I would desire the uh, air cleaner bottom I got recently. It's better than that cooler bottom I used to have on there. And I think I remember talking about on the uh, last video here how I used to have the wrong manifold. I got the right manifold now with all the proper linkages. Before I had to uh, have an adapter from a two bolt to a three bolt, which I hear is hard to find for a two bolt manifold the biggest thing I'd say is I have steel wheels front and back I still have the uh, rubber wheels it's just I kind of like this look and what I plan on doing is getting a steel ring for the back wheels and a rubber uh, tread for the front just to bolt on so then I could uh, have a smoother ride and go on the road and yet still have the steel wheels which make it look a whole lot older I think um you also notice the uh, cultivator levers on both sides here I got those down in Indiana where I got the front steel wheels and the PTO extension brackets that are the right ones the other ones I had made so I could have a PTO extension um that's pretty much it I got the uh, rear fuel tank the gas tank instead of the kerosene tanks the big one the gas tanks the small one that was fun. We silver sided the top and the bottom together. We found the set center section was completely rusted out. We had to measure a different tractor's height and put a piece of stove pipe that was cut and soldered on in there too. I just think that this looks pretty cool as one big thing I I have pictures of it when it was sitting with no front wheels it was just rims that were rusty completely gone and no steel wheels in the back at all it was just sitting on the drop axles I have pictures of it with the rubber tires being pulled up on the trailer that was when I was like four or five at the latest so I barely remember that my dad has had this in the family for a while I've took an interest in uh, restoring it here it's been quite a project with rebuilding the engine and the steel wheels well thanks guys talk to you later